Hi, I'm Joel from My Many Life Team. And today I'm going to show you how you can create your own item using our brand new item creation system. All you need are two things, a camera and an item that you want to put in the system. So today we've chosen these delicious California cuties. So all you need to do is put the item on this box right here. And before we take the pictures, I'll explain, we have this green screen back here. And this green screen is not required, but it will be helpful when we're editing our images later. So let's get to taking pictures. You want to take your pictures in the isometric view. To do this, you take about two steps back and move your camera up about one step. Now you just need to take pictures. After your first picture, you want to rotate your item and continue taking pictures. There. Now that we've finished taking the images of our item, let's move over to the computer where we can finish editing it and put it into the system. Right, I've loaded one of the images that I took into an image editing software called GIMP. GIMP is great to use because it is free and works on all platforms. So let's get started. We'll first crop out the image by selecting the rectangle tool. We'll do image, crop to selection. Well, let's zoom in a bit. The next step is to remove the green background. We'll do the fuzzy select tool. And notice that my anti-aliasing is turned off and my threshold is set to 50. So as we click around the image, we'll notice that it selects the green. If you hold down the shift key, you'll be able to select all the green around the outside of the image. So before we delete this, we'll want to add a transparency to our image. Right click, layer, transparency, add alpha channel. So you can go ahead and delete this. The alpha channel is an extremely important step to do because if your images don't have transparency they will not look correct. So finally we can resize the image. In my case I'll resize to 250. And here's our image. One last step, we'll perform a zealous crop which will remove all white space around the outside of the image. In the end, you're left with a clean looking image ready for the item creator. Do this for the other three images and you're good to go. So the last step of item creation is to actually build the item. So we'll do this by going to the create item page and we'll add the images that we created. And upload them. So here you can see we have a sample mini home as well as all four images that we've created. So click on one and it's placed down here. So we'll change the size a little bit. Move this down and rotate and do this for all four views. And you can position the items anywhere you'd like. and in any order that you would like. So now we'll save and continue and type in a name. You can add tags, a personality, We'll pick a category, food and drink. We'll make this item so that it can be placed on top of another item. And we'll set a price of 200. We'll finish. And we'll create our item. And that's it.